Hi everyone, today we are going to review captions.ai. Um, it's a really cool tool that I just tested out with my viewers, so let's get started. <music> So Caption AI, basically you can edit videos um, using AI tools. So when I first heard that, I thought it'd be doing very interesting things. But actually, it does mostly for now um, subtitles and dubbings. So if you make lots of um, contents related to that, this would be the tool to use, like must use. So as you get, you go through it, um, it creates different videos, shorts, uh, but there are definitely things that I would use and wouldn't use in this project. So actually giving you some of the examples that I made earlier, I use the AI shorts, which is really cool. Actually, it's a really cool thing where you take a full VOD um, and you create it into different shorts. Uh, to be honest, they're editing techniques still might need some work on it but if you guys are a game streamer um or if you do a lot of like just chatting on twitch and you want to get like good footages of yourself talking i would use this because they actually do a very good job of voice recognition so i would definitely use it um one thing that i also enjoyed using was the subtitle and the dubbing so basically what it does um an example is it dubs in a different language and there are definitely ones that might feel awkward for instance i think my korean feels a little awkward um i didn't really like my korean version it sounded funny because i know my korean voice but if you do a language that i don't know what type of voice i use for example like spanish or japanese i thought it sounded pretty much like me as if i would be speaking like that in a different language my favorite one i think for now was spanish spanish sounded really natural and i think a couple of my viewers definitely agree that spanish was a good example of me speaking and then another thing that it does is it's able to be background noise removed Thing, which is really cool so it just removes the background noise and it just doesn't make any sound uh it does kind of feel awkward though uh because it is background noise but like for instance this is one that i removed the background with my mom and i <laughs> and it's really quiet so i <laughs> guess <laughs> a good place might be if you're using if you're using this for concerts area and you want to use it then i might use it but other than that <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm not sure where you can use it. And one thing that I've never seen, but apparently Nvidia does it, was eye tracking. Yeah, so this video has eye tracking on right now, so you can definitely see that my eyes on this camera is look or is looking at the lens, right? But reality is I wasn't looking at the lens a couple of times. So near the end, you know, I have like these eye movements. They would just move this eye like eyeball the center as if i was looking at the camera the whole time which is pretty cool so i really like this another thing that we tested out that was really cool was if you say anything korean and in english it translates the korean like names for example my name is Lee, so it'll be like Jin lee jinri it may have a little bit trouble with spelling but i think it does a pretty good job so um, the subtitles, I think I would highly use it. If you really don't want to write the individual subtitles for it, I would use this thing. Um, and it also has really cool templates. I don't know, I think you can also create your own templates and um, change like what you're going to highlight and everything, which is really cool. Um, and so I really like that part of it. And I think that's all of what I really enjoyed using this product. Uh, so where I would use it the most is if you create videos that you're talking about some information, any informative videos that you're creating, or if you're doing kind of like a gaming thing and you need ideas of what clips to take in your whole gaming video, I would use this. Uh, but the web one is still kind of laggy. It does make sense because it's web. But I guess I have to try the one with when I have to download it. I think that would be a little different. And yeah. So 
I think it's really cool. I think it's a really good comparison or it's a really good uh, tool to use if you guys are programmers or if you guys are video editors. But one thing that I realized using this is that you still need video editing skills. Like they, they, they still lack that funniness. So you, a human, they still lack that creativity also. So it's still safe. We still can say we're safe that video editing job will still remain um happily ever after yeah the translation honestly for the korean one i haven't checked the spanish or the japanese one i think was pretty good um i would give it like an 8.5 out of 10 um i do have a walkthrough video of this if you guys want to kind of see me playing around with different products and checking out different tools but yeah if you're gonna use it lightly have a shorter project uh shorter informative project i would use the web one if you need to download it the only time I would use it for downloading is if you were planning on using big ones because it does lag a lot and you you will probably have troubles using it. So that's all for captions.ai. I think it's a really cool product and um, definitely use this for your own good. But anyways, that was all for my YouTube video, my review on captions.ai and see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Wait. I might write the captions using this. So if you guys see captions on this video, it was used by captions.ai.